quickly, I'm going to provide a tutorial on how to plot up your liquid limit test results and put in a best fit line so that you can then use the, uh, the equation from that line to determine the liquid limit moisture content corresponding to 25 blows of the cost grounded cup. So to start off, we will select our data. And then we're going to go to the insert menu. I will insert a scatter plot. So there's my data plotted up. I want my x-axis to be in log scale. So I'm going to select the x-axis. Um, if this window doesn't show up already, where it says to, that I can format the axis on the right, I'll close that and we'll do this again. When I select the x-axis, you can right-click on it and then select Format Axis, and that window will pop up. And in there, there is an option to choose log logarithmic scale, so I'll choose that. All my data is between 10 and 100 blows, and so I'm going to change the bounds to have a minimum of 10 and a maximum of 100. Uh, and then I'm just going to continue formatting the chart for here for a minute. Uh, on the x-axis, I don't like the numbers after the decimal point. Uh, there's no value to seeing those, in my opinion, so I'm going to change the uh, number to general. That gets rid of the decimal points. I also don't think I need to plot all the way from 0 to 45, and so I'm just going to plot from 25 to 45. I'm still going to, I would like my major unit to be 5 still, so I'll make sure that's 5. Okay, and I'm going to get rid of the chart title. When I put this figure in my report, I'm going to put a, a caption so I can provide some information about it and know, know what uh, the plot is providing, what information the plot is providing. Um, we will add um, some axis titles. So I just clicked on the plus button to the right of the chart. I'll select the axis titles and then place those in. So I have moisture content for the y-axis. And we have number of blows in the horizontal axis. Now I'm going to insert the trend line. So I select the, the data. I will right click. And one of the options is to add a trend line. So I'll do that. And then I want to use a logarithmic trend line. And then I have options to display the equation on the chart as well as the R squared value. The R squared value tells you uh, how good of a fit the, the line is to the data. Um, if the value were 1, that would indicate a perfect fit. The smaller the R squared value is, the 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 line doesn't fit the data as well. So we have my equation now. And I can use this equation. I can insert 25 where we see X, and that will then give me the moisture content corresponding to 25 blows, which is then my liquid limit. Um, if I want to improve the uh, just how this chart looks with this trend line, I could replace that X. I could edit it, put N, because that's really what we want to put in there, 25 for the number of blows. Say that's the, that's what our moisture content is equal to, negative 12.54 times the natural log of n plus 76.978. So now I can use that equation. One other thing I'll do here is I, I just selected the chart. I'm going to right click. I'm going to format the chart area. I don't like to have the border around the chart. Just a preference that I have. So that's gone. So when I copy and paste this into my Word document now, I don't have a line around it. Um, you can continue to edit the chart to improve the uh, quality of, the, of how it looks, but uh, I think this is sufficient for what we need to do for the lab.